everyone. Welcome to the application delivery how to video series. My name is Palak and today we are going to talk about Avi with cloud services. So let's get started. Before we delve into the cloud services, I want to provide a quick overview of the Avi architecture. The Avi architecture is based on the software defined principles. What I mean by that is it has a notion of a controller and has a notion of the data plane. And the controller is the one that provides intelligence automation to the data plane. The data plane provides load balancing capabilities. And the solution is seamless. It works on bare metal environment, virtualized environment, and containerized environment, and also your public cloud of your choice, including VMC. And what that gives you is ease of use across all those environments. You do not need to worry about how do I configure load balancing and related services on a bare metal versus a virtualized environment or versus public cloud. And so to augment the operational experience, what we have done is we have provided a set of cloud services via the Avi Pulse platform. This cloud services will enrich the operational capabilities of your load balancing environment, may it be on premises or in the public cloud. So as you can see, the SaaS services, the cloud services are provided as in a SaaS format. So the customers do not need to deploy any hardware, any other gear to realize the benefits of your cloud services. They're delivered via Pulse, which is globally present. So you can have your load balancing environment set up in APJC North America or in, in, in Europe region, and you get the same set of cloud services seamlessly by Pulse platform. And the services that we are bringing initially to the market are central license service, the life security threat fees, and proactive support. Um, we do plan to keep on enhancing and bringing out new and new operational services delivered as SaaS going forward as well. Now, from the set of SaaS services, the mandatory service is central license service. Uh, the way it works is the following. The controller connects to the Pulse platform, and the Pulse platform will provide a set of licenses requested by the controller as on a need-to basis. And, and the LB admin can create policies on the controller to say how many are the mandatory licenses required by that controller and how many uh, more the controller can burst into. Uh, it is important to note that security is first when we thought about the central license service. So in that spirit, no customer data is stored or exchanged with the central license service. There is no access to customer's infra, so you do not need to give any NSX or vCenter credentials. And there's no configuration done by the Avi Cloud Service into the controller, the central license service into the controller. What that gives you is peace of mind because you know all that the central license service is doing is managing licenses for you globally. And this enables you to realize certain benefits that were not previously realized. So you can now think of managing your capacity globally. You do not need to go into individual sites and manage that pool of capacity. You can eliminate the need of duplicate licenses for disaster recovery. So think of a situation where you have two sites, an active and standby. Once the active site goes down, all the licenses of the active can automatically move to the standby site and thereby reducing the downtime and reducing any manual intervention. Think of your licenses moving along with your apps, right? You can seamlessly enable cloud bursting if your application is moved to the cloud, your load balancing licenses can programmatically move to the cloud along with the applications, thereby eliminating any need for manual provisioning. All these benefits are only realized as a result of our central license service, which is delivered as a SaaS service to the customers. As you all know, Avi provides a single pass pipeline. It provides a slew of app security features such as WAFs, such as IP reputation, GODB, ACLs, bot detection, and whatnot. And we know that the, the environment is only as secure as these updates on the signature, right? So you want to make sure that you're keeping update, up to date with all the different attack vectors that are happening and your signature is always up to date. Now, if you want to do that manually, that would be a nightmare. If you have many, many sites and you have to keep on updating, say, for example, IP reputation database manually, that is painful and that is error prone and that will lead to security vulnerabilities in your environment. What Avi Pulse platform provides is another service delivered as a cloud service, which is live security threat intelligence. And what this will do is it will periodically update your, your required signatures within your environment. So if you have an IP reputation turned on, it will periodically make sure that all your IP reputation Database is up to date, and you can program. We can program your environment to to state that whether you require updates every five minutes or every hour or every two hours. All that is done programmatically. 
The fact that it is delivered seamlessly as, as a cloud service makes sure that your environment is always up to date with the most latest and greatest signatures. And your environment is always secure. And the third and the last service for at least for the first series that we are providing is proactive support. Now, imagine a situation when something goes wrong in your environment and many things often go wrong within an operational environment. Typically what ends up happening is an LB admin will go ahead and debug the problem, will figure out where the problem exists, will um, get a few set of logs and will update it and upload those logs into the vendor support system and create a case and then the vendor will, will then go ahead and take a look at what's happening and then provide an ETM. With proactive support, we are trying to reduce all the manual steps that you need to do to zero. Right, so this is the zero touch support experience that we want to provide. And through this, what will end up happening is your controller will keep on monitoring your environment on an ongoing basis. And as a result of which, as soon as the controller sees something is wrong, something is not working correctly, it will, it will generate, it will capture the appropriate logs, ship it to our Pulse back platform and to the proactive support environment. And then that proactive support service will go ahead and create a case with VMware support and VMware support is already working on it. Now, by the time the LP admin has started debugging, maybe VMware support has already taken a look at the, at the case and has provided potentially an ETA. This reduces the downtime and the bad user experience that the customer has to face through our proactive support environment. These are just a few initial set of cloud services that we are providing. We do plan to keep on enhancing uh, the set of capabilities that we provide via our Pulse platform. So just to tee it off, right, why this is beneficial, why should you care? The central license service provides you with set of capabilities that you would not have been able to realize otherwise. You have the ability to dynamically manage your capacity. You do not need to duplicate your licenses for DR, and then you can do cloud bursting and license mobility. Your intelligence threat feeds allows you to keep on keep your environment always up to date with the latest and the greatest signatures. No longer you have to go ahead and manually update the signatures. And manually updating several sites is just impossible. It's, it's quite painful. And proactive case management gets ahead of any problem that the customer's environment may, may experience because of certain issues, right? It automatically creates case and ticket management. And you, know, you can expedite uh, the resolution of the ticket by making sure that the right logs are, are captured and the right information is passed on to the backend uh, support system. I would like you to I would like to thank you for listening to this very short video. Please do subscribe to our channel to keep updated with all the videos that we are posting. Thank you and have a good day.